I'm with the lucrative youth, and this is Naman Trey YKC. All right, so I'm with the lucrative youth, and we're here with Trey YKC. Yeah, right, what's going on? Hey, we here. Yeah, boy, we're here. Yes, sir. So let's see, man. Introduce yourself a little bit for those, just to let get get to know you a little bit better. All right, so my name that y'all know is Trey YKC. My real name is Tresari Green. Uh, my mom made that name out of hat. <laughs> um, I'm from New York, and I just came down to Florida, changed up the scene a little bit. What's going on? <laughs> Where specifically in New York? I came from Queens, Jamaica, Southside Jamaica, actually. Um, right by Fudge. You probably not gonna know, so I don't know what I'm telling you. <laughs> That's where 50 Cent was from. That's something that I'm for sure I know. Uh, so you got a 50 Cent fan? Uh, okay. Yeah. You got it. 50 Cent fan? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. Welcome to my candy shop. You yeah. lived your whole life in Queens? I lived my whole life in Queens, yes. I definitely did. From the birth to about, say, 18, basically. Because I'm, I'm 19 now, I just turned 19. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, grew up right there in 147. I rep that song. I, that song. <laughs> I rep that block in every song. No lie. No lie, that's my head, for sure. You miss it? Because how long you been out here in Miami? <sighs> I've been here for about like three, four months already. I do miss it, bro. No lie. Actually, I am planning something in New York, so. You gotta stay gotta tuned, tuned for that. that. Definitely stay tuned for that. Definitely. What are the biggest differences you think between sort of New York and Miami so far that you've seen? So for sure, y'all guys, y'all got your own rap scene, okay? So y'all got on, you know, these hype artists and stuff like that. In New York, when I would go to these shows and perform and stuff like, we got like artists like Blue TJ and like they have those type of voices and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They be calm on stage. You're not like all too hype. Like yeah, y'all, y'all have it down here. It's real different. Real different, man. You find yourself adjusting to a different style. Or what do you feel? What do you think about that? Low key, I'm yeah. just staying me. I just put it like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, my music never changed. I actually make a lot of different type of music, so never change. Never change. You got that Trey YKC yeah. style, whether you're in New York, whether you're in Miami, you're gonna yeah. stick that to him. Trey YKC type beat. Thanks. Trey YKC type beat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So let's see. When did you really start rapping? When you really started this whole thing? I really started back in like. Elementary, I see around like fifth or fourth grade. I was writing poems and stuff like that. I used to write storybooks as well. I actually had people want to like buy storybooks off of me, believe it or not. Yeah, believe it or not. I was selling storybooks for three dollars. Believe it That's or not, hustle from a young age. Believe it or not, bro, that shit was crazy. And um, ever since then, like I started really rapping in um, high school in my first year. I really started rapping, I started it. And it wasn't as good as it is now. It's all about progression. Definitely all about progression. Nah, you probably would have like the old one. <laughs> you would have like, you would have like the old Do you remember one. what the name of your first song you released ever on SoundCloud or Spotify really was? It was called Unofficial. Unofficial. It was super unofficial. <laughs> <laughs> Recorded in on your phone, at the crib. What was that process really? It was recorded at a center. It was recorded in a closet. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta start somewhere. If you really think about it, that's, that's also part of the process. Yeah, definitely. It, I mean, it was pretty cool for my first time, for mm-hmm. sure. But uh, definitely hitting better studios now, for sure. Talk about that. Can't wait for yours. Yeah, definitely. Can't Appreciate wait. For yours. Definitely can't wait to have you out here recording some more fire. Similar to that block work. Video coming soon, definitely already in the works. Just know about that. But we're gonna have a whole lot of more bangers similar or beyond that. Definitely cooked up right there in that room. But speaking of the whole process, like you know, you went from recording in the closet to now recording in the studios. How is your current recording process? And like you know, to think about how far you've came. So like, a lot changed for sure. Well, let's not say a lot because you know how the process works. I write and I bring it to the studio. I never really freestyle my songs until like recently. I actually have a song out, it's called Fanta. 
that whole song was freestyled in the studio. It was actually three takes, two takes on the second verse, one take on the first, and I slid right through. The whole thing was a freestyle. You should go check it out. Definitely will. It's pretty fire. But um, yeah, that's the only song I fully freestyled. Uh, other than that, I write my own music. I actually have people question me. They question me a lot, and I'll tell you right now, <laughs> I write my own music. Please do not ask me again. I get it a lot. Too yeah. much. Too much. Too much. No more. No more need to question that. Now it's no known. Please write my own music. Continue yeah. on doing that. Exactly. Definitely, it's an important part of it. What about beyond writing the music though? Like, how do you sort of describe a typical studio session? How might go? Well, so I use a lot of beats. From YouTube. So that's the king, that's the king place? Definitely the king place. I do shout out all my producers. So. Yeah. And yeah, they get paid. Okay. It's so always important. Like that. <laughs> Definitely. But um I go in, I tell the producer, I mean the engineer, hey, download this beat for me. Do that. Play the beat out loud. Start hitting. Face is going crazy. I'm like, I'm ready. I go in the booth, and now usually, and it got me so upset. So the sessions that's before me, I believe the artist is probably way taller than me. So the microphone <laughs> is all the way up here, and an engineer comes in there. He has to fix it down for me. So because It'd be like that. <laughs> but it's. It's cool, because once it's all set up, go back out there, gets around the computer, and he's like, all right, babe, let's go. Start going crazy. First verse, boom, hook, boom. <laughs> and then, Keep that run. Keep hey, that going crazy, <laughs> going crazy. And it's, I don't like doubles. Keep it real, I don't like doubles. I don't like putting doubles over my mouth bars and shit like that. Yeah. I, I really don't like that. But um, ad-libs. Go crazy on the ad-libs. That's important. Go crazy on the ad-libs. And, and you wrap it up. Just like that. Wrap it up. Wrap it, up. it usually takes me 30 minutes to record and then I let them do it. The longest time it ever took me to record a song, I'll say about 45 at least. Or probably even an hour. That's about it. Beyond your longest, what do you think is the favorite song you've recorded so far? You have one? I do. I don't. I lie. All my <laughs> songs are my favorite. All my songs are my favorite. But you have that one. You gotta have that one that you feel. I recommend you guys listen to Speed. Definitely check out Speed. Definitely check out the video. It's always good to look at the video. Sometimes the video makes the song better. So, yeah. That's the most recent one you just dropped, right? Yep. What's coming soon in terms of the video? All right, so I got Hancock on the way. Definitely. Shot by Fordo Films. Shout out to Fordo. Shout out to Fordo. That's my guy, bro. That's my guy. That's Go my feel guy. You. That's my guy. Um, and I'm trying for this unreleased song that I'm not gonna let you guys know yet. But you got a little something cooking but up. But I got a little something cooking up. Actually, it's already cooked up. And it's just ready to get thrown into the oven for the final touches. Man, you almost like you got me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So, we got that on the way. Definitely gonna sleep on that. Definitely want you guys to tune in, for real. I don't want you guys missing nothing because this year, I promised my mom, everybody in my family and everybody about me, this year is the year. No letting up. No letting up. So I gotta be, bro. Exactly. Gotta keep that pressure on next to be able to continue to drive through and fully get to that level to where you wanna get. Like they say, they put on their necks. Put on their necks is the only way. So what's next then? Only the future can tell. That's next. That's a Fendi fact. Only the future.
you can tell. What's some advice you'd give to yourself freshman year when you first started rapping? Be yourself. And stay true to yourself. Facts. I used to um, really look at how other rappers spit so I could try and find my own flow, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, it kind of did help because as time went on, I found my own flow, I found my own style, and now I'm Trey, obviously. <laughs> it all definitely molded you to that point. Definitely. I used to go by Young Trey. Young, undefeated, notorious, greatest. That's what Young stood for. It was YUNG. Thanks. And what's Trey YKC now? Like, what's YKC? YKC is Young Kings Committed. I do have a label under me, actually. So give a quick shout out to those people in the YKC label. Uh, Seven Lights, Galaxy B YKC, JYKC, Oh My Guys, Eli YKC. That's my brother. My guys out there, and they all in New York right now. They're all in New York. They all in New York right now. They holding it down, for real, for real. Big shout out to them, man. Doing their shit. You think they got any plans to come down to Miami soon, or some quick link up up there? Hell yeah, bro. Definitely. With that whole thing I'm telling you about New York, sure gonna link up with my guys, and it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy, man. You got any final words to just wrap up a little bit of everything and let people know where they can find you besides your lucrative youth creators profile? For sure. Uh, first, can I get one of those things? Like, that shit is so <laughs> fire, bro. Yeah, I got that you, I got you. so fire, bro. But I, you guys, you can follow me on Instagram at trey.ykc. That's T-R-E dot Y-K-C. You already know the vibes. And find me on YouTube, YKC. Trey, YKC Vivo. Watch the speed video. Alright, brother. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you for coming out. You ain't right, no the miles. Into the mind of Trey YKC. Look at the view.